Until now, you know diffraction only as something negative, something that limits, for example, the resolution of our optical microscope. But we can exploit diffraction to gather information about our samples with the transmission electron microscope. And for this video, it is important that you know what diffraction is. And if you need a uh, brush up, then I recommend the following videos. Links are in the description. Imagine we have a perfect single crystal like the one here. You can also think about it as a diffraction grating. The electron waves will be diffracted between the atom cores of the lattice and interfere. On our image, you only see the interference maxima caused by constructive interference. All other points are extinguished by destructive interference. And if you don't know why, then better watch the brush up videos. So remember, single crystal shows as multiple sharp points in our diffraction image. From what we learned about the diffraction pattern of a single crystal, we can easily develop the, the image for a polycrystalline substance. Spoiler, it's going to be rings. But why? Let's take a look. You can think about a polycrystalline substance as made from multiple single crystals. And we already know how the diffraction pattern will look like for each individual single crystal. And so let's fade out the others to keep it simple. And the diffraction pattern, that's how it looks like. We already know that. And the orientation is pretty important here. Then we just continue again. We fade two out and now only look at the diffraction pattern, at the resulting diffraction pattern of this single crystal here. Slightly shifted, but otherwise nothing new. And the third one is easy, right? So I don't need to comment on, on the final one. And I think maybe you already see where this is going. And that's why, uh, and that is why a diffraction pattern of a polycrystalline substance appears as multiple rings. Now we talked about single crystals with extremely high order, then about polycrystalline materials with less orientation but we didn't talk about materials without any kind of order yet. And that are amorphous materials. You can think about amorphous materials like a polycrystalline material with infinitesimal small crystals, if it makes sense to you. That is why the diffraction pattern of amorphous materials looks a little bit like a blurred polycrystalline diffraction pattern. That's it for this video. Hope you got it and see you in the next one.